Hello, my name's Frank Cashman, and this video is a little bit different. I'd like to talk to you about my ancestors and make a little illustration using them. But as ever, I'll encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Britannia waves the rules. OK, what's the point that I want to make about my ancestors? So it's this, and it concerns points-based immigration systems, because I just want to ask the question, what would have happened if a points-based immigration system had been applied to my ancestors when they came to the UK? Now, this point is a little bit artificial because I'm talking about immigration to England from Ireland, and it's artificial for two reasons. Firstly, uh, England and Ireland were one country at the time of my typically great-great-grandparents coming from Ireland to England, um, in some cases escaping the Irish famine. Uh, secondly, uh, Britain and Ireland has a common travel area anyway. So this is not a border at which immigration rules have applied. But let's just take the case of my ancestors and look at uh, whether, if they had been coming from somewhere where these rules had applied, would they have been allowed in? And what happened to their descendants? So... Um, the uh, green marks and the, there's also some green underlining. Uh, this identifies the majority of my great-great-grandparents that came from Ireland. Uh, the blue underlinings are from Scotland uh, and do have one English great-great-grandparent. We'll talk about him as well. So here we go. Let's look at those who were in the sense of coming from Ireland to England, immigrants, and will, may well have been seen that way in England. What do we have? So we have great great grandfather Cashman, who was a puddler, uh, a very tough job working in iron on the shipyard. So he came to uh, Jarrow on the Tyne, uh, built ships there. So a, a labouring job uh, would not have qualified for uh, entry to the UK if coming from somewhere where those rules had been applied. Uh, great great grandfather Dunleavy, a riveter, whole family of riveters. Again, hard physical work in the shipyards. Um, not a qualifying occupation. Uh, in terms of uh, these people, we actually look at my great-grandfather, uh, Robert Patrick Neville, who at the age of 14 uh, walked across from the family farm through to a recruiting station in Dublin and signed up uh, in the British Army, uh, the Northumberland Fusiliers. Uh, that, as I say, was at the age of 14. Uh, he was World War I by a German bomb, uh, when he was on active service as quartermaster uh, at the age of 46. Um, but anyway, military service, uh, as I say, boy soldier, uh, not, at, not at the time of entry to England, a skilled occupation. He did rise to the highest rank that you can as a non-commissioned officer. A couple of Scottish great-great-grandparents moving over to my mother's side. Uh, so we have great-great-grandfather Nicholas Enright from Limerick, a stonemason, came to help to build Victorian London, manual work. Uh, Great-great-grandfather Maguire from Wicklow, provision dealer, so he's self-employed. What do we have here? Great-great-grandfather Lawless, who uh, was a labourer. Uh, and I've picked the occupations where we have them in the census, uh, and that tends to be the males for my great-great-grandmothers. Their occupations in UK censuses after they arrived would be recorded as wife, uh, or in some cases, domestic service, uh, depending on the year. Uh, so I did say I'd say something about my Engli my one English great-great-grandfather, just out of interest. Uh, here we are, James Smith, uh, and he came from a long line of Shropshire farmers. Uh, and going back a few hundred years, uh, then Lucy Huddleston had married into that family. So she'd probably come down a bit in the world because she was the great-granddaughter of Neville the Kingmaker. Uh, and so then through the history books, you can trace the descent through John of Gaunt and Edward III and all and the English kings to William the Conqueror and also through a separate line to Alfred the Great. Anyway, that's my one bit of English ancestry. Um, but apart from that, you know, not a Brexit bone in my body, really. So if these people, typically my great great grandparents, under some immigration rules had not been allowed, to enter the territory that is now the UK. Um, just supposing, what would the UK have missed out on? Doctors, nurses, 
people who together gave 350 years of service to the NHS, teachers, head teachers, people who built Victorian London, uh, who built ships for the Royal Navy, uh, fought in two world wars, um, an RAF pilot, prison librarian, uh, eminent university librarian, my uncle Brian Enright, some social and charity workers, talented actors, and the person who wrote Brexit's a trick, not a treat, Brexit's a musical trick, and I don't beg pardon, I'm talking bollocks from the Rose Garden. That's me. Oh yes, perhaps the British government would be keen to keep us out. I am Mike Cashman. Please subscribe to the channel, Britannia Waves the Rules. Thank you.